Well, at one point, your mom actually found drugs in your room and said you can't stay here anymore. Yeah, she she threw me out. My mom's, you know, she told me, first first she said to me, guys, come home with, like, a lot of nice stuff. I had a lot of nice stuff. And she said, um, if I hear you selling drugs, throw you out this house. I said, mine ain't selling drugs. You know what I mean? Because I ain't know about renting, you know, going to get my own place. You know, I'm used to living on, under her roof. So, um... She found whatever, and then, you know, first she she's going to beat me first. She took her butt out, was going to beat me, you know what I mean? And took up and, like, had me cornered in the corner in my room, you know what I mean? Caught me by surprise, and then I told her, listen, I'm going to jump out this window. If you hit me, I'm jumping out this window. And she, she said, well, all right, go ahead and jump. You know, mother's back then, like, go ahead and jump. I'm like, fuck this dude. I can't jump out this window. So I ran past her. I went to my grandmother's house on the south side. I went to her house, my father's mother. And um, this woman, man, she just be drunk. Like, all she do is drink. You know what I mean? She just be drinking. And um, she said, you sleep on the couch. So I go on the couch, you know, because I was still going to school. I still was in Jackson. I was still going to school. And I walked from her house to school. And she laid a sheet and all that stuff on the, on the couch. But the cow stink. The cow smell like piss because she get drunk and pee on herself. So I'm sitting there like, fuck. Laying there. I'm like, so I stood up every day. I go to school, but I want to, but I would sit up on her couch because I want to sleep on it because it was, it was stinking. So then I went to the um, projects. I knew the dude named Clyde. God bless his dad. And Clyde, he the one that said, yo, I'm going to give you some work over here now. I'm going to give you some work. You know, see how long it take you. You know, nigga played me. You know what I'm saying? Hit me with the work. I'm selling the work. He ain't taking all the money. So I'm like, damn, man, when I get paid? Like, you know what I'm saying? So then um, I had a girlfriend at that time, you know, which turned to my kid's mother. She was, um, her sister, her sister was um, Prince's girl, Prem nephew. But Prem was messing with the main, the, the friend, right? So when I, I came to visit her, I'm in the living room, and Preen came in with the bags. He came with the bag with her mother, helping him with the bag. I was like, oh, that's Supreme. I said, yo, I said, can I have a word with you? He said, yeah, I was well, and he put the bag and said, what's up? I said, yo, man, I want to work, man. I work with Clyde, but Clyde taking all, you know, he taking all the money. He ain't giving no money. I ain't getting no money. He said, all right, come pick me tomorrow at my mom's crib. You know, my mom's I said, nah. He said, of course, you're in the projects. I said, cool. I want to pick them up. That morning, I stayed over there around the corner. Stayed over there. I go to his, I go to his crib. And he said, "Yo, take all these cleaners clothes and put in that car right there." I said, "Which one?" He had a Benz and a BMW, both on park across street from each other. He said, "Put in the Benz." I put in the backseat of the Benz. I sat in the car, waiting for him to come out the house. Brand new Benz, five sixty, cool, smelling white seats, blue. I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna get this car." You know what I mean? I want this. It smells good. And then we went to the cleaners. Drove, put his clothes in the cleaners. Got back in the car. Took me to the, took me to hundreds, fifty and something, right. And when we pulled over. These dudes was fighting, but the big dude pulled out and shot the, the little dude. I said to Prem, I said, "Yo, you seen that?" He said, "No, I ain't see that, and you didn't either." You know what I mean? And we kept going. You know what I mean? That was, those were rules. I was like learning. You know what I mean? I was soaking it up. And then we parked on this block. We parked two blocks from the block where we was going. And on this block, it was Ferraris, Benzes, BMs, trucks, bikes, all type of stuff. That's for every drug dealer on that side of town. And me and I walked on the block, it was a bunch of, bunch of people on the block, bunch of people. And, um, and I said, I remember my first time seeing Pappy Mason, and he had dreads. You know, my first time seeing him, and I looked at him, and him and Prem was talking, playing, you know. And then, um, Weeks later, they had a fight in the um, game room. It was Gar B. Gar B was with us. Pap, um, just with the mall with Cat, and it was a, and they had the game surrounded like this. And the people was around it. I'm on top of the game watching the fight, and it was there's betting money on these two fighters. Like when you come from prison, they put you in that ring to fight, like real fight. And niggas betting money, hundred, two hundred. Niggas betting money, real money. So I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the thing watching. And Josh got the best of Garby. Garby was falling, 
And Dalu, he was with us. God, he picked him up. Like, but as he did that, he had nudged Cat. And Cat looked at him and said, Pabe. Dalu took off. He already knew. He went at the gate. They said, close the gate, close the gate. He got out. So I ran outside behind him to watch him. But, but, but Pabby pulled two, two them things out. Boom, 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 busting at him. I said, run, Dalu, run. I'm little. You know what I mean? I'm like, run. And Pabby turned and looked at me. And Preen grabbed me, like, no, that's my little man. That's my, he knew he, that's my little man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like learning, like, like, now you know who Pappy was. You know what I'm saying? He gave it to me right there. 